Tonight at 10, it is a line buried in local deeds that may surprise you. The excitement of buying a house and then you go through your paperwork and the disappointment to see, you know, that says, you know, you, you can't live here. Didn't realize how entrenched or ingrained it was here specifically. <laughs> oh, yeah, a racial restriction ingrained in local deeds. It's more common than you may think in our area, but there's a new bill to make it easier to change. KSHB 41's Alyssa Jackson passed the mic to residents of Prairie Village and Roland Park about the decision. Deeds like this tell you everything you need to know about who owns a property, but many of them also tell you who couldn't. When you see quaint neighborhoods that have outlived many of its families, the foundation of the home holds a lot more than you would think. The feeling of moving into a new home, you sign all kinds of paperwork to move into a new home, and then, you know, way back in the back, the papers that you didn't really pay attention to, you see the language that says you can't live here. These homes hold a past that is still relevant today because it's on record and written in deeds that people of Negro blood or people who are more than a fourth of different races and ethnicities couldn't stay here. Though unenforceable, they exist near Hiley Sims neighborhood. It is important to remember that part of history, but I don't need it written in my deed. But the process for doing that, well, it could cost a city at least six figures in legal fees to fix something an area pastor thinks should have been done a long time ago. Me as a white dude in Prairie Village saying, hey, you know, uh, I think this is wrong. This is a part of the history of our city. There's a reason our city has a massive majority of white. Now the Kansas legislature has become a part of a reckoning, making it much easier to remove these records going forward. To think striking racial covenants is the end of the conversation would be crazy. The foundation has been shaken. But if anything, Greer thinks that there's still structural work that could take a little more time. Alyssa Jackson, KSHB 41 News.